Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red episode 45 I believe. In the last episode we completed everything that we could do in the rocket warehouse. We retrieved the sapphire and in this episode it's going to be a rather long episode because in this one we are going to finish everything that we can do on the Sevi Islands. So right up here is the water labyrinth. Now on accident uh, there are no new Pokemon you can find here although uh, Hopip is very clearly here. Uh, if you did not get one earlier and you need want to get one still uh, you can get one right now. Um, Interesting that you can find it while surfing. So I accidentally fought this trainer right here at Resort Gorgeous. Uh, she had a Smurgle, uh, which is a normal type Pokemon. It was the first chance we got to see one. I do apologize. Uh, I, I, I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. So uh, my bad, my bad. So right over here are going to be trainers that we definitely want to make sure that we use somebody that has the amulet coin or is holding the amulet coin. You'll also notice that I only have five Pokemon on my team. That's important. So right here, we can go ahead. I'm visiting my friend's retreat, if you must know. And these ladies are super important. Lady Jackie would like to battle. She's going to have two Pokemon. We're going to use Megahorn, finish off her Pokemon, and a Skip Loom, which, again, we will be able to destroy super easily and hit level 57, and we will get 10,000 Poke Dollars for winning. I also just realized that I don't believe uh, Topher is the one that is... Uh, what, what, what is he holding? Leftovers. Who's holding Amulet Coin? The Pokemon that I deposited. Hitmonlee is the one that's holding the, uh, the Amulet Coin. That's okay. These guys give a ton of a ton of money. You can only fight them once, though, because you can't keep fighting them with the Versus Seeker. It doesn't work. Uh, those ladies will give you so much money. Highly recommend uh, that you... Why are we missing so much? Okay, I highly recommend that you go ahead and get those from them. It's just so good. Uh, we'll be able to take out hit all of this youngster's Pokemon pretty quickly. Right here, we can fight a Painter who has a Smurgle. So guess what? You can still see Smurgle. We'll go ahead and use Earthquake because we know it will destroy it. Painter Daisy is taken out. Uh, sorry, Painter Daisy. And then, of course, we can go ahead and fight these trainers as well. She'll have another Painter, which is, of course, a Smurgle, uh, which we will go ahead and take down. And, again, a Lady Jillian, who has a beautiful Mareep, which we will take down with, unfortunately, an Earthquake. And take it down again. See ya. And a Flaffy, the evolved form of uh, Mareep, which is an interesting Pokemon. One of my favorite of Gen 2 as well. And a Pokemon that you might see in a future LP. Uh, anyways, moving on. Uh, let's go right in over here. This is Selfie's house. Now, Selfie isn't here, uh, which is... Where could Selfie be? Selfie? Where are you? We need to find Selfie, actually. That's... That's what needs to happen here. So we can go ahead and uh, and fight these trainers. Now I should not have left um, our dear old our dear old Nido, Nido King in there, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and switch to Chew, who's going to be able to use a Thunderbolt to take down the rest of these Pokemon. Uh, and a Tentacruel, oh god. Uh, hey, we can still kill a Tentacruel though with one Thunderbolt. That's pretty that's pretty damn amazing. And let's go ahead and take down. Well, not take down, but we can go explore the rest of this area. Can't go in here. This is a super important thing right here. This is the Lost Cave. Very interesting. Uh, we can go inside, and we can just talk about some new Pokemon that we can find here in the Lost Cave. Let's take a look. So the first Pokemon that we'll look at here in the Lost Cave is Mysteryavis. Mysteryavis. I don't know. Number 200 in the Pokedex. Uh, she is a ghost type that was introduced in Gen 2. In Gen 4, she gets an, uh, an evolution that is just amazing. She also has the ability Levitate, meaning she's not weak to ground type attacks, which is amazing. Uh, and not like she would be anyways, because she doesn't have that poison subtyping like Ghastly and Haunter and Gengar. She is a pure ghost type Pokemon, the first one ever introduced. Reduced, which is just gnarly sauce. She has a 5% encounter rate for those of you playing Leaf Green, and her stats are okay. Uh, anything that hits her physically is probably going to kill her. Uh, but special defense is pretty good, special attack is pretty good, and that speed's pretty good. So she's definitely usable. The next Pokemon is exclusive to you Fire Red users, another 5% encounter rate. This is a dark flying type Pokemon, Murkrow. Murkrow and Mr. Ives are very similar. Uh, they both get evolutions in Gen 4 uh, that require a Dusk Stone. They have uh, kind of weird stats, or at least Murkrow has kind of weird stats. It also has the ability Insomnia, not a big deal. Um, but its stats, if we look at those, an attack of 85, a special attack of 85, and a speed of 91 make this thing an actual really good uh, mixed attacker that can actually capitalize on mixed attacking right now in this generation because of its typing dark and flying. Flying's going to hit physically, dark's going to hit special. It's actually really good. 
really enjoy Murkrow. Uh, I actually do think, as much as I love Mistrevious's design, I think that Murkrow actually wins out here. So good, good, good for you, Fire Red. All right, so this is a very interesting place with. Obviously some very cool Pokemon. You guys know that some of those Pokemon are my favorites. Uh, this is the Lost Cave because you will get so disoriented. It's also super similar to the Lost Woods uh, from Zelda. Uh, uh, I believe the... Uh, I want to say the first Legend of Zelda, right? Or no, Lost Woods is in more, more than that. Anyways, um, an incorrect turn will actually bring you back to the beginning of the dungeon. So it's kind of hard. The There's going to be rocks in each room that are going to tell you in which direction you need to go. However, um, they kind of, they kind of, the number of rocks indicates the clock position of the correct pathway, if that makes sense. Any deviations from that pathway, though, will lead you to going to get, to get items. Uh, which is which is what we want to do. So let's go ahead, enter the Lost Cave, and let's try to do this the best we can. Let's go ahead and battle this trainer. Uh, I think Nidoking King is still out. No, we have Chew out. So we'll go ahead and use Brick Break. Uh, two of these will be able to kill it. And we will hit level 60, which is great. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch to Vaporeon. I kind of wish we had Hitmonlee uh, here, but that's okay. Uh, and we will be able to use another Surf, which will take down these Pokemon. And we'll take him down. Now, there are three rocks here. Um, but what we want to do now that we've come down this ladder is we want to go to the right. Uh, this is not going to lead to selfie, but it's where we need to go. Then we want to go down, which will lead us to this item right here, which is a lax incense. Uh, unfortunately, our bag's full. Let's go ahead and see if we can, uh, help that a little bit. All right, so we can go ahead and pick up this Lax Incense. Uh, Lax Incense are necessary to be able to get some of those baby Pokemon that I was mentioning before. All right, so now we will find ourselves back in the entrance to the Lost Cave. Now we want to go right, and then we want to go uh, up, up, down. Uh, we can go ahead. I think there is a mysterious power at work in this cave. I would agree with you there, Psychic. We will go ahead, take down this Natu with one attack, and uh, another Natu, which we will be able to destroy super quickly. And finally, Zatu, the evolved form of Natu. Uh, there you go. Down. Easy to go. And now we want to go up again? Yes, which will lead us to an, another incense, a sea incense. And... We will get a C incense. Not that bad. Now, if we go back down, this will lead us back to the beginning. Now, this is super easy. So, now we want to go, uh, well, that's unfortunate. That's okay. Uh, we want to go right. I need to use a max repel. All right. So, we went right. Now, we need to go up, down, uh, down again now, I think. And then we need to go right twice. So, we'll just go right. And this will lead us to another item, which is a Max Revive. Obviously, Max Revives are super helpful. All right, so we need to go right. Then we need to go up. I could have sworn I knew this puzzle. Down. Down. Right. Left. Down. Oh, down and then left. I went right before. And then left. And then we'll find another uh, rare candy, which is great. Uh, which obviously you could use or not use. It's totally up to you. And then we will find ourselves back here, and then we need to do this again. We'll go right, and then we will go up, and then down twice. Down, uh, and then we need to go right. We need to go right, and then left, and then down. And then we need to go right, and then up. There we go. We found selfie. We, n we nailed it. We nailed it. Well, what do you intend to do with me? Uh, nothing. We're just here to help you, girl. It's all right. It's all right. So this is going to be Lady Selfie would like to battle. She has two Persians, which are both holding nuggets. So if you have Thief, you can actually get those items. I'm pretty sure. I'm like 90% sure. So we're going to go ahead and use Raichu, which will take down her Persian, and another Raichu, which will take down her Persian. Oh, I was afraid that you meant to hurt me. No, I just meant to kill your Pokemon. No big deal. With a Brick Break to the face. I am so glad that you happened here. I grew rather bored of walking, and I am feeling fatigued. May I ask you to take me home from here? And she will just literally teleport us out. I Maybe an escape rope? And thank you. You may go now. <laughs> Excuse me? What? So then we can go inside and talk to her. Oh, do I know you from somewhere? Oh, but that doesn't matter. I'm exquisitely bored. Please hear my wish. I wish to see a Pokemon, a Darling Spearow. So if you show her a Spearow or any of these Pokemon, she will give you different items. The items that she can give you depend, uh, but a few of them are actually really good. So it's worth noting. Uh, I'm not really going to be showing that because it's not a big deal. Um, 
And we don't have a Spearow in our party, so we're not going to be able to show it. Now, there is something I could have sworn that we could have gotten something else. Right. So, now, to get another secret item, let's go all the way back to the Lost Cave. So now that we're here, we have to do the exact same route that we took to get to Selfie, and we'll now find an item. So let's go ahead, and I'm just gonna cut that out, and we're gonna be at the room to find Selfie. Okay, and last room, we'll go up, and now we will find ourselves in the Lost Cave, right where Selfie was. Now we will get a new item, we will get the Silk Scarf. Oh my god. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Rare Candy, because I know that we have one, and I know I can use it. Uh, we are going to just use that on whoever. Um, not a big deal at this point in the game to use a rare candy, um, because your Pokemon should already have, like, full IVs. So we're gonna use it on Topher, but just because he's, he's looking pretty low. So we'll get him to level 58. Alright, now we can pick up this Silk Scarf. Silk Scarf, let's look at what Silk Scarf does. I'm pretty sure this is, it will, uh, power up normal type moves. Yes, boosts the power of normal type moves. It's a wonderful ability, uh, wonderful item to give to a Tauros or a Snorlax. Uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be giving any of those. Now, I'm just going to catch the Pokemon that are available in here, and then I'm going to uh, see you back at uh, Resort Gorgeous. Okay, now there's one more super important thing that we can do here in the Water Labyrinth, if we actually just go and do that real quick. Uh, we can go ahead and use Surf, and continue to the way that we didn't go before. Uh, as you know, this is the Water Labyrinth, uh, so there's going to be some branching paths. Now we can just follow this all the way down, uh, not this way, we have to go down over here, uh, and then up and through over to this area, and there will be an old man sitting here. You travel all over the place, don't you? You're not driving your Pokemon too harshly, are you? Let me take a look. Oh, impressive. You treat your Pokemon. I think you can be entrusted with this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, damn it. I forgot because we caught the Murkrow. One second. All right, so he gave us an egg. I'm glad I met someone like you. Now, there is a very uh, unique Pokemon in this egg. So we're going to carry it around a little while until uh, it hatches. Now, I'm pretty sure this is our first egg in the entire game. So that's pretty cool. It occasionally moves. It should hatch soon. All right, so uh, that's pretty cool. It's also worth mentioning that Selfie, that person that we rescued, uh, this is going to be a trainer right here. It's a Pokemon breeder who's going to have some uh, Pikachu and a Clefairy. These are all Pokemon that can give babies, and Meryl, uh, which is super cool. So we'll be able to beat her, get some money, and uh, and call that a day. It's just interesting that these people are are here. You know, I think you'd be an, uh, a, a talented breeder. I think you're right. So we'll go ahead and hatch this egg uh, off screen, but I want to show you what Pokemon it is once it hatches. So, so we'll, I'll make sure that we do that pretty soon. Now what we want to do is not fly to the Four Island uh, Island thing. What we want to do now... Uh, what I was saying about Selfie before I rudely interrupted myself. After 250 steps, Selfie will get bored, and she'll ask you to bring her a different Pokemon. So, if you- if she doesn't have a Pokemon that you have currently in your party, you can, like, just try for the best. I don't recommend that, but it's worth doing. Alright, so we have one more island that we can explore, and that is Seven Island. Uh, in the next episode, because I think we should end this one here. Uh, you know what? We should- we should hatch a Pokemon first, and then we'll do it. I think that's- I think that's the best bet. The islands are all called the Sebi Islands because there are seven. Or at least that's what the young people believe. The truth is, these islands are so named because they are said to have been made in seven days. Interesting. This island has been left virtually untouched. Alright, so while we're waiting for this egg to hatch, I figure, you know what, let's go up and explore what we- what this northern area is here. So we can go ahead and get this Nanab- Nanab Berry, which is literally banana backwards. Uh, and this is a trainer right here, so let's go ahead and fight this psychic trainer who has a not to. Uh, nice and easy. A drowsy, we'll go ahead and use Brick Break, even though I know it doesn't actually- well, let's just hit it with Thunderbolt, why not? And a Hypno, which we are going to hit with Thunderbolt, even though that we know that its special defense is pretty huge. Chew grew to level 61, awesome. Let's switch to something else. Uh, let's switch to Topher, just because- just because of Topher, baby. Uh, there are some interesting things about this trainer tower here. Trainer Tower ahead, which is interesting. So, I'm not going to be doing Trainer Tower, uh, because it's not super important. I sense- I sense your approach! Uh, he will have a giraffe rig A uh, giraffe rig that's the first time we've seen it. It's pretty cool, it's a psychic type Pokémon. Uh, actually a super cool Pokémon. giraffe rig is, uh, giraffe rig backwards. Um, a lot of- a lot of things are something backwards now. I don't know what's going on with that. So this is Trainer Tower. I don't really recommend Trainer Tower if you're playing this game, unless there's- So, okay. 
So Trainer Tower is interesting. It's basically like the battle tower of the game. You have to go through and you will basically fight with whatever uh, your highest level Pokemon will be or whatever uh, you pick, doesn't matter. Um, there are different battles. There's mixed, there's single, there's double. Uh, there is knockout mode. Um, but the four items that you can win from doing this are a dragon scale, which we already have one of. You only need one dragon scale. Um, a dragon scale secondary effect is that it powers up uh, dragon type moves by 10%. So I guess you could also use that, not that you really need it in this game. An upgrade, which is only to evolve a Porygon to a Porygon 2 with trading. A metal coat, which you only get one in the game. You need two if you want to complete your Pokedex. So you have to do Battle Tower or uh, Trainer Tower to do that. And King's Rock, which we haven't gotten yet, but we will be getting, which you need two of to complete your Pokedex as well. So that's just that's just worth mentioning. Um, that's what you can do in Trainer Tower. I'm not going to be showing it off or anything. There is a Mart here as well. Uh, you can see the time board for all of these different modes. Um, I'm not going to show it because I don't really think it's necessary. I don't think those items are needed. Uh, it's just a way for them to make sure, like, if you want to evolve Porygon a 70 billion times, it's just a way to ensure that you have those items available to you, which is great. Now, to the south of us is a little bit more important of, of stuff and whatnot. So let's go ahead, uh, talk to this guy. He will actually teach us the move Swords Dance, which is wonderful, uh, but we're not gonna we're not gonna use that move tutor yet. I highly, highly recommend getting Swords Dance um, on a physical attacker. It's an amazing ability. It raises your attack two stages, which is amazing. So we'll go ahead and take out this Aroma Lady with a Mega Horn, and her next Pokemon will also take out with a Blossom uh, with a Mega Horn as well. So uh, that reminds me, you now have access to evolve uh, Vileplume into Blossom with a Sunstone, uh, which we picked up earlier as well. Um, and we will go ahead and uh, there are no new Pokemon that you can find here, um, as, as far as I know. Uh, oh, and that is worth mentioning, is over on Trainer Tower, there is a new Pokemon that we can find. Let's hit this thing with Mega Horn and see how much damage it does. Pretty pretty decent amount of damage. Um, uh, let's just stay in and finish this Pineco. Ah, I wish it would kill it. Okay. So, there are some new Pokemon, so let's go over the new Pokemon that we can find here. One of the cutest Pokemon ever, it is Fampy. Fampy is a pure ground-type Pokemon with a 15-20% to 20 encounter rate in this area. 15% here, 20% in the next area, but I thought I would show it here anyways. If we uh, look at its uh, ability, it has pickup, just like Meowth. It evolves at level 25 into Dawn Fan, who is not available unless you evolve Fampy. It is a remains a pure ground type Pokemon, which is great, uh, and its stats are very good with uh, the only stat that really hurts it is its speed, but that attack of 120, that physical defense of 120, and that health of 90, this is a very good Pokemon. Its ability does change to sturdy, and you lose that pickup ability, which is fine. All right, let's continue on into this area. Uh, pretty good Pokemon, actually, but I would love to show you guys the actual uh, area. So we're going to take these down, use Mega Horn. Obviously, Mega Horn is like our most powerful attack against. Uh, oh, I can't believe that didn't kill a uh, Victory Bell. And we have level 59 on Topher. Nice job. And we will defeat that trainer. And now we can face this Ranger as well, who's going to use a Gloom and I believe a Vileplume, uh, if I'm not entirely mistaken. We're, we'll hit it with a Shadow Ball just so that we can save our Mega Horn for this Vileplume. And we'll go. Oh, we're out of PP. All right, that's okay. We'll do that. And then we'll hit it again with. Uh, Shadow Ball, it'll use Petal Dance on us, and it'll go down, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and use a full restore. Now, there is an item hidden, uh, if we go, oh my god, if we go up here, um, there's an item hidden right down here, which is, I believe, a berry? It's a Rost Berry, so that's the only item that you can actually find on this route. And right here is a double battle, if I'm not mistaken, it is. Uh, we will go ahead and use Earthquake against them, and he'll just fly up and... Uh, that will take out a Psyduck, but not a Golduck, and then we'll be able to obviously kill that Golduck with that poison that was on him. Uh, and you can't surf here. Yeah, current is too fast, so you can't surf here. Uh, just, you know, worth noting. And a Fampy! Alright, let's catch this! And Fampy was caught and added to the Pokedex. As a sign of affection, it bumps with its snout. However, it is so strong, it may send you flying. I love it. We're not gonna give a nickname to Fampy. Obviously, we're not using it. It's a cool ground-type Pokemon, like I said in its bio. Alright, let's continue on. Uh, towards where we actually need to go. Uh, I might have accidentally have gone too long on this episode, so we may need to cut it. I just want to make sure that we get as much done as possible, uh, because we're so close to the end of the Sevi Islands that we might as well just make a long video and get it done. Uh, Alright, so we can continue on here. We are in Seafolt Canyon, Canyon, which are has some new Pokemon uh, that we should go ahead and take a look at. 
And now a Pokemon that everybody's gonna know. 5% encounter rate only in Fire Red. It is Skarmory, number 227 in the Pokedex. Steel Flying type. Meaning this thing has a crap ton of resistances. A crap ton. Also, its only weaknesses is Electric and Fire. That's it. Has two different abilities, Sturdy and Keen Eye. I would go with Keen Eye, personally, because I don't really think you're going to be running into Fissure or anything like that. And its stats are actually pretty decent as well. A base speed of 70 isn't the best, but that de physical defense of 140 is through the roof. And that attack of 80 is pretty good as well, meaning you're going to be able to capitalize on that with things like Steel Wing and Fly and literally any flying attack moves or Steel type moves are really going to hurt things. You have a lot of coverage with this Pokemon. Like, it's really good. It's a wonderful Pokemon. The next Pokemon that you can find is only in uh, Leaf Green, and this is available to you users. 5% encounter rate. This is the, the special defense version, I guess you could say, of Skarmory. Uh, it's water flying, so that means it does have a lot more weaknesses than Skarmory does without as many uh, resistances. But this is personally one of my favorite Pokemon. It's special defense. It's such a special wall. It's an amazing special wall. It doesn't have the most 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 health, but it's still going to be able to withstand almost anything you can throw at it. You even if you hit this thing with an electric attack, uh, electric attack, odds are it'll probably still survive and then be able to counter with some type of special attack that hurts it. This thing is really great as well. Skarmory and Mantine. They're just wonderful Pokemon. The next Pokemon that we're going to look at is in both versions of the game, is that is Larvitar. Larvitar. Think of it as the Dratini of Gen 2. This is a pseudo-legendary Pokemon once evolved. If we look at its final evolution stats, we will see that they are through the roof. This Pokemon only has a 5% encounter rate and evolves really late. Uh, level 30, it evolves into uh, Pupitar. But it's worth mentioning that Larvitar, before it evolves, has the ability Guts, which is great. When it evolves into Pupitar, Pupitar, it gets Shed Skin, which is not as great. Um, but still fine, it keeps a rock ground typing happening. And then when it evolves into Tyranitar, it becomes a rock dark type. Meaning that it does actually get a lot of weaknesses. Uh, that is the only thing that really hampers this Pokemon, and of course that speed. It's uh, It also gains a new ability, Sandstream. So if you have anything that can benefit from a Sandstorm, this Pokemon is wonderful for your team. Say if you have a Sand Slash that has like Sand Veil, uh, which I don't know if it can in this game, uh, that is that is going to be really good. This thing is great. That Sandstream can get really annoying. We are going to have to battle a Ty Tyranitar at the very end of this game. And uh, I promise you he's not going to be easy. Um, it's a really good Pokemon. Just a phenomenal pseudo-legendary Pokemon. Alright, now that we've looked at that, let's continue on and face this battle, double battle that we knew was coming. Lex and Naya. Alright, so they are going to have two normal type Pokemon. We, of course, are going to use Earthquake, and then we are going to uh, go ahead and use Blast Burn on that Mill Tank. Uh, and down it goes, and down goes Tauros. Nice and easy. PZ Lemon Squeezy. Uh, Alright, let's continue down, and we can grab this item. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. Oh my god. Alright, we don't need to see this Cubone. And let's go ahead and grab this item, which is a Nugget. Cool. Nuggets are always good. Uh, is there anything... So this will lead us to a different type of area. Uh, which we don't need to see this Meowth. If we continue into here, we will be found... We will find ourselves in the Tenobi Key. Alright, so we are going to finish exploring and doing everything that we can do on... Uh, in this... In the Sevi Islands, the next episode. Um... Unfortunately, I think that this episode is going to be super long, so I don't want to go too much longer. So I'll just end it here, and uh, next time we will complete, finally complete everything to do in the post-game type of thing, sort of-ish. I love you guys very much. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender.